Nelson from Anna's Greek Restaurant are joining me. I feel like I haven't seen you guys in forever. Yeah. You guys have uh, went on your uh, vacation for a little while. Yeah. And now you're coming back uh, to show us a recipe that's, uh, I kind of said, like a pumpkin pie. Pumpkin, Greek style. Greek style. Is that a good? Yeah. I've been thinking it's uh, pumpkin times now, and everyone has the pumpkins at home, and okay, they have different recipe for the pumpkin, pumpkin soup, pumpkin pie, and everything. And I've been thinking, okay, let's go do my recipe now in the, in the Greek style pumpkin pie. And you said you've made this for your family, and they yeah. love it? Yeah, for my family, for my kids, it's good for the party, like tomorrow Halloween and okay. all Thanksgiving uh, dinner and all the days. Uh, and and yeah. like I was saying, the, you said there's lots of pumpkin things yeah. out there, pumpkin yeah. soup, yeah. pumpkin this and that. Yeah. And we've all had regular pumpkin pie, which is great. We all love it. Yes. But this is going to be something I've never had yeah. before or even seen. We have on the medium uh, pumpkin here. A medium? Wash them, cut it in a couple of pieces, clean it good, put in the pot, two cups with water, let them boil for 20 minutes. 20 minutes, yeah. okay. 20 minutes. After that, they give us this. Pictures. That's yes. what's left. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. And here we have to put now one cup of the sugar. One cup of sugar. Sugar. One cup with milk. And is that just regular milk? Regular milk. Just yeah. Regular whole regular milk. Regular milk. And here we have two eggs, all of them. So this is kind of like the base for a, a normal pie. Yeah. Yeah. And here we have half a um, teaspoon of the cinnamon. Cinnamon. Just for a little bit flavor. More flavor. That's what makes it Greek, I think. It's <laughs> <laughs> the cinnamon. Okay, we can put some of my butter. Probably two tablespoons of the butter. A melted, melted butter. Melted butter. Okay. Okay. And here we have to mix it now so they can give us one uh, good texture. Yeah. Yeah, and this, uh, so far, this is all pretty basic, nothing too crazy. Not too crazy, so easy, so everyone can understand that, you know, everyone can prep that. It's just so easy, and they give us a good, uh, good test in the end. Now, would can you, you help suggest, me, darling? Just you want oh, to that? No would you suggest people hand stir it or with a blender? Yeah, some people, they do it in the blender, okay. but for me, I know, I'm doing it in the boiled. I and don't you know just hand stir? Just, yeah. All with a spoon. Uh -huh. Take it's, it's easy just to mix measure. It, I guess. Yeah. We just want to make sure everything is mixed uh, yeah. really well. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Okay. And here now we have the pan. Okay. And the fillet dough. The fillet dough you can find in the Walmart, Kroger. You, you know, find it anywhere. Yeah. What yeah. aisle is it in? I guess the frozen section. In the yeah, frozen, frozen yeah. section. Okay. What the pizzas are. We get it from our distributors, but usually you can find it. That's where we can find it if we just went on. So the trees, my mother in law and my grandma, they are open the Philadelphia the hands. Okay. You know? But this too much stuff for us. I know. Too much work. <laughs> too, much too much work. And I said, we're gonna do this easy. <laughs> this is yeah. So we're gonna continue to use the melted butter. Yeah. We already have so and brush the pan. And uh, you can cut the filo, like depends how big the pan is, mm -hmm. or you can just Put it inside. You can work in the wa which way is better for you. Now, I'm sure a lot of people maybe have never worked with phyllo dough, it and is. it is very thin. Yeah, it's thin, but you know, still you just put it inside. When the uh, it's in the oven, the still can uh, be very nicely. <laughs> so you put a bit butter, and then just put more butter on yes. top. Yes. Yes. And I think it doesn't have to be super pretty. No. Just no. lay it in there. Yes, they can be two and two probably because they are so thinner. So if you put two and two, they still give us the the same result. Okay. And it is, and I see like you know, there's tiny little holes, you know, a little bit here, little baby tears. Don't worry about. Don't it. worry about. It. Okay. Because we put a lot of them, so they still we can cover that. Okay, and we can either do two, two each time. You see, yes. you're putting in a layer, but we want to put butter in between. Yeah, yeah they need a little bit butter. That's what makes it flaky and tasty. That's what makes it flaky is the butter in between. Yep. Yeah. And well, see, we still have Wilson over here stirring up. Actually, we're going to take a break. We're going to have Wilson continue this. She's going to keep layering up the filo dough. Then you get to see the final product. It's gorgeous. We'll yeah. be right back. Thank you. Now, Anna's been working hard on uh, making the layers of the filo dough. She added in our mixture that Wilson was mixing up all nice and yes. uh, getting it to a great consistency. Now we need so, to get the top. Yeah. So we drop it inside. Now I'm going to have to flip this. Because when we were laying down the layers, we were kind of just letting a little bit fold out on either yes. side. Yes. 
pasta like the other one, you can cut it. You find easy to do, uh, hard to do that. Just cut it like the pan. And just lay it. Just lay it. This is now, while Perfect, you're, you're doing this, I'm assuming we're uh, preheating the oven while this is happening? Yes. Well, the oven needs to be ready. And we put it in the oven for 35 minutes. How, what oh. temperature? Uh, so 380. Yeah, 380. 380? Okay. Yeah. Now, if you are, uh, want to look at this recipe again, of course, it's on our website. If you need it again, go to wbko.com uh, slash midday, and then we've got a recipe um, place you can just click right there, and you can get it. So today we're going to do a little bit of tea and magic since that takes mm -hmm. time. So this is a final product. And it looks so nice. Mm -hmm. And yes, how long, Anna, did we leave it in there? Uh, in, in the pan? You mean? No, in the oven. No. Uh, in the oven for 35 minutes. 35. Or till they have this color, like brown in color. You want that yes. color. That color, It looks yeah. beautiful. And Wilson, you can go ahead and cut that and we can kind of see what it looks like on the inside. And while we're doing that, um, I was just telling you during the commercial break, people have been asking me where you guys have been at. <laughs> Well, we've been all over Europe, but we're back. Yes. Uh, we took a kind of long vacation this year since we ended up uh, closing for summer. Mm -hmm. And then uh, came back, and we got a new lo location. We kind of expanded the restaurant. Uh, this is how it looks. That's the That's medium filling here. Mm. Oh, yeah. You want to give it a try, and then I'll talk. Yes. That, <laughs> I love this idea. I will eat, you talk. All right. So, uh, so everybody knows um, Anna's in Three Springs Road has been closed due to the road construction uh, with the highway department. We kind of been told that it will happen a little bit earlier, but they were learning behind because of the weather and so on and so forth. But they're going to tear out the entire parking of our okay. structure. Therefore, we ended up uh, looking for a new location. We found a new location. We had tons of customers from Glasgow, and they uh, all invited us for many years. So we expanded. We bought a new oh, restaurant wow. in Glasgow. So we're open that. Hopefully, we'll have our grand opening next month. Uh, sometime by middle or end of the next month, we should have be done entirely. And we're still looking for a location in Bowling Green. So we're going to have two restaurants. And, okay. Uh, the, as soon as we find the location in Bowling Green, we'll let everybody know. And uh, that's kind of the story. We're back. We're working. We'll have our first restaurant over there. It's not far away from Bowling Green. It's about 30, 45 minutes. <laughs> it's worth for honest food, right? It's right. worth the drive. And you, it is, definitely. And you were saying that you'll let everybody know. Where will you let them know? Facebook? Definitely. Facebook. We are very active on it. As well, our, our, our website, Anna's Restaurants, or bggreek.com. It's the same thing. You know, it's funny because I knew what you were doing on Midday Today from your Facebook page before I even knew from my, an email between us. I said, oh, I'll just keep up with him on his Facebook page. Yeah, kind of. Uh, well, Facebook is something we, we get all our customers pretty much today. Everybody's on there and uh, they get to Very interactive. interactive, so on and so forth. So, yes, the restaurant location in Bowling Green is closed temporarily. And uh, we'll soon open another one in Bowling Green. But we will have the new Glasgow location, which is in 607 Happy Valley Road. All right. Well, here's all the information for the soon-to-be-opened new location um, over in Glasgow. Now, if you want the recipe, if we want a little piece of Anna until we can get the uh, new place open, again, go to our website, the recipe for this pumpkin pie on there. And this is what it looks like, Anna, yeah. before we put it in the oven. Yeah, it's ready for the oven. And you've just been layering, layering, just put more of this gorgeous filo dough. I tried it. It was so good. Oh, thank you. Maybe my new uh, way to do pumpkin pie. I just ditched the old way. <laughs> I love that. And, Wilson, thank you so much for coming. Thank uh, you for having telling me. us where, where you, people keep asking me. Now I can say, did you watch Midday? That is where they've been. Yes. <laughs> been working hard. We'll be right back with some more Midday Live. Thank you.